Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage Online Classes. Uh, friends, in this video, uh, I will be explaining uh, to you the complete study plan for IBPS clerk exam. And at the same time, I will be giving you uh, golden tips uh, for cracking this exam with 100% guarantee. So let us get started uh, with these tricks. And let me tell you uh, before I proceed further that this video I am recording for the English medium student. Uh, but you can definitely watch the Hindi version of this video also on this channel. So these are the important tips <coughs> and you must apply these tips. And uh, this is the first important point to remember. That's that IBPS PO pre-exam is only qualifying in nature. Okay. The marks of this that you achieve uh, will not be added in, uh, added in the merit list. So you should try only for uh, qualifying. So in order to do this, you should do only the questions that you are 100% sure about. You should not do any guesswork. Okay. You should try to attempt only those questions which you are 100% sure about because this is qualifying in nature. So this is the most important point you should keep in mind. If you are doubtful in any question, whether it's reasoning, maths or English, you must escape that question. You should not take any chances and you should not uh, do any guesswork. So I have uh, mentioned here ex expected cutoff and this is the minimum cutoff that is uh, most likely to come. Uh, for English, uh, if the paper is tough, actually this cutoff uh, I have predicted if the paper is tough, but if the paper is easy to moderate, moderate uh, this cutoff can go up by 10 points. Okay. So for English, uh, the expected cutoff will be 5.75 to 7.25. <coughs> for reasoning, uh, this is the expected cutoff, minimum cutoff. And for maths, uh, this is the minimum cutoff. And this is the overall cutoff, but this is the minimum. Okay. And if paper is moderate to tough, uh, you can expect it to 47, 48%. And, uh, this is the number of time or this is the number of second uh, you should take uh, while attempting each question of maths, reasoning and English. Okay. So for reasoning, uh, the ideal time uh, you should spend this 34 second for each question. Considering that you will get uh, only 20 minutes for reasoning, 20 minutes uh, for math and 14 minutes for English. Okay, so two two minute I have added uh, for saving the answer and uh, going next. So that is how uh, the text will go. Twenty two minutes for reasoning, twenty two minutes for maths, and sixteen minute for English. So total sixteen minute, and in sixteen minutes you have to uh, uh, you have to give thirty four second for maths, and uh, thirty four second for reasoning, and twenty eight second for English. So this is the ideal time you should try to spend on one question. And you should also remember this time uh, while attempting mocks at home. Okay. You should try to solve the questions in this time limit. 34 seconds, 34 seconds and 28 seconds. Now this is the conclusion uh, that uh, I have drawn on the basis of uh, uh, different students opinion that have already been successful in different exams. If you can solve 60 questions out of 100 with 100 uh, with 80 percent accuracy your sectional and overall cutoffs will be cleared okay please remember this thing if you can solve only 60 questions out of 100 with 80 percent accuracy your sectional and overall cutoff will be cleared so you should remember this thing in mind now this is the english section sequence this is the ideal sequence that you should go uh, with the questions. First, you should try to attempt a spotting error, then Phillips, then close test, then para jumble, and then RC. This is the ideal sequence. You should not go in the different way. Like first you do RC, then para jumble, then close test, then fill up and spotting error because it will be very time consuming and you will end up scoring very less marks. Okay, so this is the uh, successful strategy. First, you should try to do spotting error, then fill up because this is very simple. Close test will be very simple, then para jumble, and then RC or reading comprehension. Now, in reading comprehension, uh, this is your ideal sequence. First, you should uh, try to attempt synonym and antonyms. 
okay and synonym and antonym will always be relative synonym and antonym in banking exams they will never be absolute so you don't have to find the dictionary meaning of uh, those synonym and antonym you have to find the relative meaning based on passage this is very important point okay so first you should uh, you should try uh, you should try to solve synonym and antonym then factual questions and then conclusion based questions or inference based questions okay so first you should try <coughs> to do synonym then factual question and then inference question this is the ideal sequence you should apply while giving the exam and while uh, trying to take only uh, the mock test also now this is the english syllabus this is the complete english syllabus and uh, the first part will be spotting error uh, this will be completely grammar based there will not be very difficult questions uh, uh, like uh, they appear in ibps bank pu exam because in ibps bank pu exam uh, the level of questions is very technical in nature okay now here the spotting error questions will be grammar based simple grammar based sentence improvement question they will also be grammar based this is grammar based and this is grammar based okay spelling mistake and inappropriate words uh you can do it through practice close test will be easy to moderate it will not be very difficult okay and para jumble may be story based or description based it may be either story based or description based now reading comprehension may be uh, technical story based or description it may be technical also story based and description <coughs> now fillups as far as fillups are concerned it, uh, they may give you single fillers as well as double fillers but uh, let me tell you that double fillers are more common in bank pu exams okay so here you will most likely to get uh, only single fillers and uh, synonym and antonyms will come and they will be relative they will be based on passage so this is your complete english syllabus only these topics you should uh, you should cover and you should try to master all these covers in order to crack ibps bank pu exam okay this is aptitude syllabus uh, five topics will be covered quadratic equation based inequality uh, number series simplification uh, di or data interpretation and some miscellaneous question so this is aptitude syllabus and this is reasoning syllabus uh, nine topics uh, will be covered alpha numeric series <coughs> director uh, direction science based questions puzzles will come logical reasoning questions will come syllogism will come coding decoding uh, questions will come blood relation questions will come linear seating arrangement will come and order and ranking so these nine topics will come as far as reasoning syllabus is concerned most expected english pattern okay this is the most expected english pattern now as far as rc is concerned or reading comprehension is concerned you will uh, you can expect to get 8 to 10 marks of question you can expect 8 to 10 questions okay close test 5 to 7 questions of 5 to 7 marks sentence improvement 5 to 8 questions of 5 to 8 marks spelling or sentence improvement spelling or uh, uh, inappropriate word 5 marks para jumble 5 marks and uh, fill up five marks so this is the most expected english pattern and uh, you should consider this, this this thing in mind while trying to solve uh, mock test or sample papers how to approach english section okay now here i will be telling you uh, i will be giving you the different example the real example uh, that are most likely to come in ibps uh, clerk exam so this kind of question you will get in your ibps clerk exam just see these questions this is the question number 1 question number second five it is divided in five parts and whichever part is having the error that is your answer many top executives of the bank attends just see here this word attends <coughs> this is the singular and this is plural okay executive is plural so this verb also has to be plural but this cannot be plural because because the presence of this word last week now last week indicates that something happened in the past so that is why this word 
will be changed into attended okay so uh, even in that case your answer will be b your answer will be b here so these kind of errors you will get in ibps clerk exam because these are the real questions i have taken from the last year question paper so you can have a very good idea regarding uh, the questions that are likely to come in your exam all this financial institutions all this financial institution the correct word here should be all these <coughs> okay so here your answer will be a so through these questions i am 100% sure that uh, you will have a good idea regarding the questions that you will get so these kind of questions will come uh, the question will not be very difficult very technical very complicated uh, that come in ibps bank po exam the questions will be much simpler uh, as compared to bank po exam this is wrongly spelled or inappropriate word questions that is how the question will come uh, as you can see here uh, this is the question and it has been divided into five parts you can see uh, some particular words uh, have been uh, written in bold okay and uh, here only you have to find the mistake the mistake could be in spelling or uh, in appropriate word now in this sentence the spelling of happily is wrong so here your answer will be b okay now in this sentence we may like nor dislike in this lesson now in this sentence uh, the mistake is in in this word because nor be used in the negative sentence here in place of this word we will use or so here your answer will be b here your answer will be b in experience listener uh, often lose a great deal of the matter presented to them because they do not listen uh, uh, they do not listen properly so that is why they lose okay they do not get but they lose so the spelling of lose will be l o s e okay this loose means something that is not tight okay so here the spelling should be l o s e so here your answer will be c okay here your answer will be b here your answer will be b so that is how you have to tick mark these questions unless and until you are 100% sure you are 100% certain about the answer of that question you should not you should not try to attempt uh, any question you should not do any guesswork so this is the best strategy i am going to tell you and uh, this is what you should apply now let us see the sentence improvement part this is the sentence improvement one uh, sentence is given here and one particular part is written in bold and that part uh, may be grammatical correct and if it is not uh, if it is grammatically uh, correct already then no correction required you have to put okay it may be uh, grammatically incorrect now i was taken back we never say i was taken back we always say i was taken aback because taken aback means i was surprised so here your answer will be c okay have grown up in new york i have uh, never tasted spicy food until i arrived in india now here uh, the activity has already been finished he has already grown up so to indicate this thing uh, you must say here having grown up in new york because the work is done or finished okay so here your answer will be d now these kind of question will come in sentence improvement part this is not very difficult this is very simple to tackle now let us see the para jumble this is story based and this kind of para jumble will come uh, six sentences are given here as you can see here a b c d e or f six sentences are given here and you have to put them in proper order they are jumbled up they are mixed up okay so since this is the story based uh, it is not very difficult to solve it just see here just see here in all the sentences we are using definite article okay so when we begin any paragraph uh, we do not use definite article we first use indefinite article okay this is the most important trick you should remember uh, uh, in para jumble okay so this uh, d will be your first sentence here d will be your first sentence here uh, a man was driving down a highway when a brick smashed on the side of his expensive brand new car 
now after that what that man would do that 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 sentence will come the man immediately got off the car okay so this is the natural sequence now a will become your second sentence the man immediately got off the car slapped the young boy who had thrown the brick and asked him why he did so okay now after this the sentence will come in which the boy has responded something because he has been slapped previously so here this f will be the correct sequence the boy was in tears and said okay so this will be your next sentence the boy was in tears and said that he had to do so as no one on the highway had stopped to help his handicapped brother who had slipped from his wheelchair okay now first he said something and then then the boy then requested okay first he said something and then he requested that is why you can see this word then so after this uh, this this sentence will come uh, i mean b sentence will come okay then then this sentence will come that uh, driver apologize or you can see that uh, you can see this word lifted you can see this word lifted so here also you can see the word lifted okay so e will come after this e will come and then c will come the driver is to to watch the young boy push the wheelchair down the road and uh, this will come c will come so uh, this is the description description based para jumble and uh, only this kind of para jumble will come in ibps uh, clerk exam and these kind of para jumble you should practice story based or description based but uh, you can also expect technical based para jumble you cannot deny it now close test this is the close test and this kind of close test will come you can have a fair idea uh, after going through it according to the united nations in the past 50 years large areas all over the world have become have become deserts because of the deforestation and because of the urbanization okay so one reason is uh, what is the reason of this uh, this uh, forest being uh, deserts changing into deserts one reason is we assume that natural wealth now here you can see trees wind water so here the correct choice will be such as such as tree wind water and soil have is give provide and cost okay we think that they have no value so have will come here so very simple to fill it's not very difficult okay we also uh, that these resources help help countries create wealth now we do not remember this thing we do not remember we do not keep this thing in mind okay so that is why uh we harm forest or we harm trees we cut trees because we do not remember this thing what we do not remember that these resources help countries create wealth so that is why the correct word can be here we forget we forget okay we forget that these resources help countries create wealth now here just see the option uh here in since while as and like in will be the right choice here in many countries in africa because uh, before countries and before continents subcontinents we we always put this in in africa programs uh, have been now here only only the uh, one word can come uh, have been uh, have been have been started okay started will be the right word here uh, sorry here have been started and this is been actually have been started to restore lakes and uh, rivers and uh, since we have started this uh, these programs so it will definitely benefit so here you need the third form so benefited will be the right word here this has benefited farmers and provided jobs to hundred of people we always provide jobs to people we do not provide jobs to countries citizen and families okay and worker workers it should be workers but it is workers so people will be the right word here so that is how you can you can solve this close test and this kind of close test will only come in ibps clerk exam this is the filler example very simple filler the pet shop these are the real question students should not think 
that these are the question I have created. These are the real question that that has already come in IBPS clerk exam. Okay. So the pet shop had a dog. I plan to use the uh, money to pay for my education. So here the correct word should be uh, price because earn will not cannot be used here and pet can be used here but it, it will not make any sense rare will not make any sense here and borrowed also will not make any sense here so price here will be the right answer because it will go in both the blanks now here you can see here uh, of my class now in term of class what will what word will go here only the monitor word can go here okay this year i have been elected as a monitor of my class and uh, monitor keeps track of a patient heartbeat in the ICU. So here the monitor word uh, has been used as a noun and here here also it is it has been used as a noun okay a monitor because monitor is a kind of machine or instrument. So these kind of question only will come this is reading comprehension you can have a good idea regarding reading, com reading comprehension also okay so uh, you can go through you can give it a pause and go through uh, let me tell you the answers of these questions and how to approach the figure of 121 million Indians. Okay, so here the keyword is 121 million uh, Indians, and uh, you should find uh, you should try to find this keyword in the passage, and you will find the answer. The figure of 121 million Indians as internet users as being referred to as above, who would access internet. Now here, this is the this is the keyword. 121 million Indians will be accessing internet at least once a week. So once a week will be your answer. Your answer will be D. Okay. Now choose the word which is most nearly the same in meaning of the word as used in the passage. Just see, just go through here. Uh, uh, at the rate of five to seven million a month. Just see the second second last line. 5 to 7 million a month and at the current pace it will surpass the US surpass the US means it will it will outdo okay it will go ahead so surpass means outdo outdo will be your answer here India is adding internet users uh, you can see in the last line and in, uh, India is adding internet users at the rate of 5 to 7 million so it means 5 to 7 lakhs per month. So B will be your answer. So that is how we can do reading comprehension. Most of the question will be factual in nature. And this is the complete study plan for sure success. If you apply these tips and if you apply this strategy, you will be successful in IBPS work exam with 100% guarantee. Now the first strategy is two full scale sample paper or mock paper you have to do daily in 60 minutes with timer set okay daily you have to solve two full length mock paper you can take mock papers from Kiran publication from Arehan publication from uh, MB publication uh, you can you can go through BSC magazine that is banking service chronicle magazine okay so from there you should try to uh, solve the mock test at least this is the at least this is the minimum number two okay full scale sample paper in 60 minutes with timer set and since english is the tricky part uh, two english section paper with 16 minute timer you should do it daily okay apart from the full length paper and you should uh, analyze your level of preparation and measure them against the expected cutoff you should try to score at least 60 percent marks as a overall cutoff and read the hindu editorial daily for 30 minutes and this is this is must because uh, some question can be asked from Hindu in uh, parajambal in close test in reading comprehension also and in sentence improvement also so please do not skip reading the Hindu editorial daily till 25 November do not read any grammar book right now this is not uh, appropriate time for go through grammar books it will only waste your time Stop studying one or two day before or exam and try to refresh your mind. Try to score at least 60 plus in mock test. This would be your target and study through online resources. So these are the tips 
you should apply these tips they will definitely help you so if you have found this video useful for your preparation for ibps uh, clerk exam please like it please share it uh, with your friends and do send me your valuable comments do not forget to send me your comments and if you haven't subscribed this channel uh, as yet kindly do subscribe kindly do join us uh, to get all the notifications regarding the exam and regarding the videos so thank you very much uh, for watching this video and i wish you all the best for your bright future thank you